Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Ooh, Michael Keaton, is you the Batman? Oh no! Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me! Please help me! No, he is not. Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Spider-Man Homecoming figure and it's the Vulture. So this guy looks really really cool. Of course we're getting a Marvel Legends set of uh, some of these characters so this is going to be my placeholder until I get that. I thought this looked really nice. I like the detail on it. The wingspan looks pretty cool. I was impressed with the uh, homemade suit, Homecoming Spider-Man. So I figured, uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting this guy and uh, seeing how he fares. It's actually pretty heavy in package and bigger than the Spider-Man figures, which it should be. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Vulture in package. Same packaging we got with the homemade suit Spider-Man. We get the Spidey up here in the corner. It says Spider-Man Homecoming, looking all kinds of cool. Spider-Man mask there. There's the Vulture. It says Marvel's Vulture. Um, we get that kind of uh, cool bubble effect right there. Nothing on the sides. And yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the front of it. So there's Spidey. It says Homecoming. There he is, looking all kinds of cool. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here is the back of the packaging and we get spider-man right there it says marvel's vulture there he is other figures in the wave and then we get a little write-up so let's see english version if uh, you want to pause and read that you are more than welcome to again we get spider-man there is the vulture Woohoo! looking cool i like the legs and then uh other figures that you can get is the regular spider-man spider suit uh, the uh, blue Spider-Man, which I have already reviewed, and uh, the home suit Spider-Man. So yeah, tech suit and spider suit, uh, homemade spider suits, looking cool. So that's pretty much it for the Vulture. Let's go ahead and get him out of box and see what we think. So here we have the Vulture out of package, and I have to say, of all the figures in this line I've taken a look at so far, this is the most impressive as far as detail and sculpt goes. Un Fortunately, it lacks a lot of articulation. Much like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from Nickelodeon, the bad guys always seem to have much less articulation than the good guys, which is very unfortunate. Um, if it would have had uh, the same articulation that the other figures, I would have been like super, 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 super duper impressed uh, with this figure. Right now, I'm just really impressed with this figure. I do like it. Uh, the wingspan on this thing is really, really cool. So he comes obviously with his little uh, wings and this piece is actually pretty good size if I can uh, I get this thing off uh. So here's what he looks like without the wings. So um, kind of small in comparison and lots and lots of detail on these wings Which is a very very impressive. You do have to build it. Uh, they pop apart Like that. That's how they come in the packaging and you just kind of um, slap them together it, it seems like it's harder than it should be sometimes um, but yeah, overall, I really do like this uh, figure. Very impressed for an $8 toy. Um, very neat. I didn't realize, uh, you know, I've been watching the trailers on this quite a bit. I didn't realize he was going to have these kind of hooky feet uh, or claw feet, uh, bird feet, which is kind of nice. Uh, but uh, overall, I mean, the detail, the paint on this guy looks awesome i think uh you know just by looking at him it's going to be a nice stand-in until we get the marvel legends version so as far as articulation goes on this guy um his head does swing back and forth it is on a ball joint he can look up that far he can look that far down so i like how he can at least look up a little bit uh to get some range um in motion he's got this bomber look which is nice the upper arms exactly the same as the other figures so they come out that far uh, they do spin. However, there is nothing at the elbow. Oh, that is so disappointing. Um, at least give us an elbow hinge. Nothing at the waist, which is not unusual. Legs do kick up that far. They don't go back at all. They don't go out. And there's nothing at the knees. Ah, I wish we had some uh, knee joints. Um, it would have made this guy look much better in a flight uh, pose. And I would have liked if there was a hinge 
on these claws that he could have closed the claws down at least. That would have been nice. Um, you know, if they would have given us uh, hinges on the claws, a single joint on the arms, and then some joints on the knees, I would have been extraordinarily happy. In fact, if they would have given us the knees and uh, feet, I would have been okay with not having the arms. Uh, but uh, as it is, it's still not bad for an $8 figure. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I am impressed with the sculpt and the paint on this guy. He's got kind of this, uh, you know, uh, fighter pilot uh, bomber look going on. The helmet looks nice. It's even got a little bit of a vulture kind of look. I like the uh, fluff up around the jacket that looks nice. The wings, very well done. Uh, nicely detailed, very wide for the figure. I was very surprised about that. All the detail on the back. It's all gray plastic on the back, which is not bad. I don't mind that at all. And then um, when you move to the front of the uh, figure, we get the green and then the blue around the circles on the inside. Very nice. All the detail on the jacket looks good. The grays look nice on the jacket. It looks like leather. Overall, I just think they did a fantastic job with this guy. And the, the visor, oh, the whole thing looks nice. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the wings kind of drape down into a point down there. The green on the pants looks good. Uh, the belt, uh, all the accessories hanging off on the belt. The jacket looks nice. Now the um, sleeves of the jacket, I mean, they're really well done. They go down into the same blue, uh, brown paint into the gloves, which I guess that's okay. You can have matching gloves. Been nice to have the gloves, maybe a grayish color or something to kind of break it up. Again, nothing but gray on the wings in the back, but uh, that's okay. That works for me. Overall, I just think they did a fantastic job with the sculpt and paintwork on the figure. It's just lacking some articulation. Now, taking a look at the legs of the figure, this is what really surprised me with it. Well, one of the surprises with this figure, there were a lot of them. Um, he's got the vulture claw type uh, cybernetic legs which is very cool. Um, I don't know if I noticed that in the trailer or not. I didn't really until I was playing around with the figure. Definitely like them. I love the detail. Uh, the gray plastic, almost a silvery color, works very, very well. I just wish we had some articulation in the knees and down there on the claws to get them to close. I think that would have been super cool, but uh, you know, it's an $8 figure. Um, you know, I'm very happy with the detail and paintwork we got out of it, of what we actually did. For comparison, here we have the Vulture with his wave mates, the homemade suit Spider-Man and the tech suit Spider-Man. And uh, he looks good, man. He looks like he's much larger than what he is. He is a little bit taller than these guys. He's got more girth. There's more plastic here. Um, and then, of course, his accessory, the wings, definitely give him a lot more plastic going on. Out of all the figures in this line, he's definitely the most value of them. Uh, most, uh, uh, you know, bang for your buck, I think, uh, for sure. I definitely appreciate that. I may go ahead and get the uh, third figure. I don't know. These were the ones that really piqued my interest out of the line, so I definitely wanted to get them. Uh, definitely happy with them. I will put them up on the shelf and display them. I think kids are going to like them a lot. And finally, just to compare him with another Marvel figure with wings, here we have the Vulture next to the Falcon, and the Falcon has a much larger wingspan. Mm -hmm. Now, the Marvel Legends version of the Vulture probably, I'm going to say, I, I'm betting that one's going to have a bigger wingspan than uh, Falcon here, and it's going to be articulated, which is going to be nice. Uh, because it is a build uh, an accessory piece, which is cool. But this being an $8 figure, that's not a bad wingspan at all. That's got to be about the length of a Marvel Legends figure. In fact, let me grab Spider-Man real quick. And uh, yeah, I mean, his wingspan is over six inches. It's probably uh, closer to seven inches, which is very nice. This thing's just ridiculously huge, but uh, very cool. Uh, so it's kind of neat to see them uh, side by side. Uh, this one definitely has the detail and paintwork to match uh, the larger counterparts, uh, but the, he's just missing the articulation. So um, for what it is, it's not a bad figure, I'm telling you. So is the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming a figure that you want in your Spider-Man collection? Well, um, if you like the Vulture and you're completing the Vulture figures, you're going to want this thing, I think. Um, at least to hold until we get the Marvel Legends uh, version of this guy out. There's a Build-A-Figure set. 
it's not even build a figure, it's build an accessory where you're building the wings that go with the vulture that you'll buy separately, which I think is an interesting idea. But to be honest, I'd rather them just have packed the wings with the vulture and maybe charge more money for it, make an exclusive, I don't know. Uh, but uh, this definitely will hold uh, the place for that. I love the detail on it. I uh, love the paint apps. The wings are cool. The thing that really disappoints me, he doesn't have the articulation that uh, the other figures in this line do. If he would have had that, I would have really, really loved this figure, and I might not even have replaced him with the Marvel Legends. Uh, but uh, that being said, it's not a bad figure for the price. So for like eight, nine bucks, you get a really good movie vulture figure here. Um, he's definitely hefty. He's definitely pretty quality. He just doesn't have the articulation. So there he is, Michael Keaton. I mean, the vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.